Hi, my name is Julie and we are going to make this CD coaster today. We're going to obviously need a CD, a stitch marker, size F hook, and some cotton yarn. So we're going to start out by making a slip stitch or a magic ring and I'm going to do six single crochets in this magic ring. So that's three, four, five, six. I'm going to pull my magic ring shut. Now we are working in continuous rounds to make this. So in the next stitch I'm going to do two. Single crochets. And then we're going to use our stitch marker to mark the first one. Then we're going to do in two single crochets in each stitch around. Until we get to back to the beginning of the row. We're at the beginning of our row. Take out our stitch marker. We're going to do two single crochets in this first stitch. Go back and mark our first one. We're going to do one single crochet. The next one. Two in the next one. Then one in the next one. Let's do this around, all the way around. So we're going to do two single crochets and one. Next one. Repeat this all the way around till we come back to our stitch marker. Now we're back at the beginning. Move our stitch marker. We're doing two single crochets in that one. Take our stitch marker. Mark it back there. And now we're going to do two single crochet or do one single crochet in the next two. two. Next one. So I'm not sure if you're picking up what we're doing. So for every in this round we do one increase doing two and one and then we're doing one in the next two. And repeat this around. Right in 
next two. We end with one of the next two. So we're starting our next round, we move our stitch marker. Again, do two. Single crochet in the stitch, put our stitch marker back. And now we're going to single crochet in the next three. And we're gonna do that all the way around. Two. And three. All right, we're at the beginning of our round. We take out our stitch marker. Now we're gonna put two Single crochets in the first one, put our stitch marker back, and we're going to do one single crochet in the next four. So that's one, two, three, four. Two, one, three, four, three, four, and we're back at our stitch marker. Take that out, do two. that first one. Let's put our stitch marker back. Then we're gonna do one single crochet in the next five. Increase go into the next five, one, two, three, five. And then our fifth one. Take out our stitch marker. Do our increase in our first stitch, which is two. Put our marker back. And now we are going to go into the next seven. Or six, I'm sorry, we're at six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Our increase, two single crochets in the next stitch. And the next six. Oh, 
and we're coming up at the end of our round. Not the beginning, take out our stitch marker. Get two on that one. Put our stitch marker back, and then we are going to single crochet in the next seven. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The two. We are at the end of that round and we are at this point going to check. You might want to check how it's going to fit around your CD. So, so it looks like it's pretty. If it looks like it's just, just me, it can be a little bit short because we're going to do one more round, but we're going to do a round of even single crochets. If you find out for you, it might, if you still got Feel, still feels it's a little short then you can do an additional increase till it fits nearly around the CD or you may have to do less rows of increase so right now I feel like we're at about the right size for the moment so we are going to do one round of a single crochet even around so we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch put our stitch marker back we're going to close our marker because we have learned if you don't always close your markers, they fall out. So, okay, so I digress. Now we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. All right, we are about to finish up our round. We are at the end. Now we are going to start our decreases. So we want to do a decrease here, which is single crocheting two together. So, well, what we're going to do, I think I've seen a while back on the internet that this may be more of a, a seamless look for decreasing for single crochet. So I'm going to usually put in the front loops a hook. Uh, my hook in the first front loop and in the second front loop and do a single crochet like normal. So that's our decrease and then we're going to put our stitch marker back in that decrease. And then we're going to crochet in our single crochet in the next seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do another decrease, which is putting our hook in the front loops of the next two. 
doing a single crochet like normal or you can do however you do a decrease so you want to do a decrease so it's a single crochet two together and then we will do a single crochet in the next seven Okay, we have reached the end of that round. Take our stitch marker out. Do another decrease. We're gonna put our stitch marker back in. going to do a single crochet in the next six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, our decrease single crochet in the next six one two three four five Okay, we have reached the end of that row, and we're going to do another row of decreases. So we're going to do a single crochet, two together, in our first stitch. Put our marker back. And we're going to do one single crochet in the next five. So that's one, two, three, five, do another decrease. Single crochet in the next five. We have reached the end of the row and we're going to do one more row of decreases. So we're going to single crochet two together. Put our stitch marker back. And single crochet in the next four. Two. Three and four. And we are at the end of our row. And now to finish this off, take out our stitch marker. We are going to slip stitch into the next stitch, cut our yarn, and finish this off. We 
need to finish out our ends. And then we're going to stick our CD in there. Okay, we are finishing off our ends. So usually I try to finish off a project is go a couple in and a couple back and try to weave into some of the strands. Might go back and forth. Cut that off. Now if I've been thinking about it might want to when you're doing your other rounds take this tail in and, and weave it in you know it's tuck it in while we were working it but we didn't think of that so we're going to weave in this middle one So I'm like that. I'll try to, you know, I try to put my needle in the threads a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna cut that off. And now the fun part: trying to get and get the CD to fit. daunting but we got it we got there there we are there we have it we have our coaster so if you like this video and like this pattern please give it a like if you want to see more patterns like this please subscribe to my channel for now thank you for watching <laughs>